Hey guys, welcome back. In this lesson, we're going to set up our analytics service in Unity. It's very simple to do, just a couple of button clicks, and then we're going to check out the online dashboard where we're going to actually view all of the data that we are sending to the service. So back in Unity, I'm going to go up to Window, go down to General, and go over to Services. Now, this is where you can play with all the services you have for your game or for your project. But in this case, I'm simply going to use the analytics service. Now, I have a few organizations set up on my account. Uh, you probably just have the one at this point. But if you have multiple, just choose the one you want the project to be under. If you don't have an organization showing here, you can go to your account and add an organization from the online dashboard, which I'll show you here in a second. So I'm just going to use and click Create. Now we have a bunch of services, but I care about the analytics and the analytics only for this. So I'm going to click on analytics and I'm going to enable analytics. Mine is not just for young children, so I'm going to click continue. Now what this is saying to do, whenever you click play, it will send the first set of events to the service, kind of syncing it up. So it knows, okay, I got the project, we're all hooked up. So I'll click play and now whenever I click stop. Now, if it doesn't work immediately for you and show you what you just did in the services tab here, um, you can try going to the dashboard and coming back in and seeing if that will change, uh, see that update your events over here for you. If not, you may want to go out of the editor and come back in or reload the services tab. Just try that a couple different times until you get this validator showing you, okay, this is what I did. So it's showing you this is when the app started, this is the app running, and these are the core events that Unity is sending out for us that we don't have to handle. We don't have to tell the service, hey, this is my app starting, hey, this is my app running, this is how long it's running for, this is my app stopping, and all that stuff. It handles all of the base events like that for us, which is great because we do want that information. We want to know when people come back and play, we want to know when people stop playing, how long they played for, and it handles all that by default, which is great. So now if we go to the dashboard, you're gonna see a whole lot of nothing here because it's gonna take a while to populate the dashboard with the data that you're sending. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some stuff with our events over the next couple of lessons, and then we're gonna look at another project I have that I've already set up for this purpose that's already been populated. It took a couple days to get everything populated, but it's all there now. So we're gonna be able to see the data there and it's going to be a very similar setup to what we are going to make in this course so it's going to look very familiar but if i go to event manager we can see that our validator is visible here as well the same thing that we're seeing in our editor so it is working everything's working good it's just going to take a while for this to do anything for us in our actual analytics here but we have everything set up and we are ready to start working with our analytics so in the next lesson, we're going to have a quick overview of the basic core events. My name is Austin, and I will see you there.